Okay, then I think the final part, I, I guess, um, we didn't get to, to, to just talk finally about Heavy. I mean, as fans, we see him as this lovable guy, but, you know, and, and it saddened a lot of us that he passed because he was always, he always seemed like, he always seemed like everyone's best friend. Um, yeah. How soon, I mean, just before he, he, he passed, um, had you seen him and spoken to him? Because I know you said you had this thing about making sure you guys were always talking and, and giving you guys um, love, knowing that, look, you just don't know about tomorrow. Yeah, um, so was... So yeah, we talked and um, let's just try to get this situation together really quick if I could. I don't know, you can see me still. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah. So we um, yeah, we would talk. We would talk, and the real upsetting thing to me for me is that this is another thing I learned. Like when you when you want to do something, you want to see somebody, make sure you do it. Just do it. You know. Don't put it off. Don't say, okay, I'm going to do it. And then don't do it. Just do it. Because that was one of the things that I was supposed to do. I was supposed to go out and see him. Um, and we had talked about it for a while, like a year, two years, talking about just going to hang out and just, you know, because at this point, our relationship was different. Um, he had he had a daughter at this time, by this time. And um, well, my oldest daughter, I had her when I was like 20 years old. So she was around the whole time. And he, he gave me one of the greatest compliments I could ever think he, he, he ever gave me was that I learned how to be a good father from you. And I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm going to get upset if I keep talking about it. But he learned, it. He, he said that, that, you know, that was a great compliment. And so our conversations right before he passed were, you know, those years before he passed were about just real stuff, just regular stuff, regular stuff relationships, you know, what's going on with him and his girl or what's going on with me and mine and, you know, what's going on with our kids and stuff like that. Like, they became even even better, a, a, a different kind of relationship. Mm -hmm. And, I'm, you know, I'm sad that I didn't get to see him before he passed, you know. Yeah. And I, we had made, made plans to do it and talked about doing it. I just not got, never got around to doing it. Yeah. But you still, but knowing that you're still you and Eddie still keep in touch more so. Yeah, we still talk. I talked to Eddie the other day. You know, he's talking about crypto and trying to figure ways to get, <laughs> you know, get me involved with different uh, money things and, you know, talking about crypto and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. You know, what's, what, what I, I, I want to say before I go is that, um, like, it's this young lady, TN07, she's on Instagram. I don't know this, I don't know this lady, but she is a you know wonderful lady because she is keeping, you know, this 90s mu music. You guys are keeping it alive. And I wanna I wanna say thank you for that. Um, I like to think that it's, it was a golden era in hip hop. Uh, you know, people might argue and say that there was another golden era before, but 90s was truly it, you know, yeah. for the most part. Um yeah. And they're keeping our music alive. And I've noticed that I I see things that I've never seen before on us. Yeah. And it makes me, you know, I wanted to do a documentary on us, but it really makes me want to do it. So I just created an email, my, well, my daughter did. It's called heavyd.theboys at gmail.com, right? That's heavyd.theboys at gmail.com. And what I want to do is see if people can send me pictures, testimonials, if it was something that, you know, Heavy Dina Boys did for you guys or uh, changed in your lives or did anything, you know, I would love to hear it and hopefully make you a part of our, our documentary uh, whenever I get around to, you know, get everything together and I want to do it. Yeah. So, No, I'll, yeah. I'll be sure to put, put that out. And no, she is, um, yeah, I know she's based out in Holland and, and, and uh, yeah. yeah, really big into, um, into, in, into, intro and heavy D and, and the boys and, and the whole new jacks movement yeah um and so yeah and my, you know, my props to her and i know that for my channel you know we've got thousands of subscribers who are f solely into the 90s so if i went and start to in a interview rihanna it, it's not going to get anyone view watching it because they want to hear <laughs> the stories behind yes. back in the, you know the back in the days and stuff okay awesome I, I always end my shows by asking every guest, like if you were stuck in an elevator and you were told it would take a two or three hours and they said, what movie can we put on for you to watch? 
while we get you out, what would you request? Oh, shit. Jeez. Oh, there's, a, there's a few movies that just came to my mind. <laughs> uh, oh, man. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I love movies. Like, yeah. I love old movies. I love westerns. I love um, sci-fi. Um, I want to I wanna say something stupid. Well, not stupid. It's not going to be stupid, but it's like the first thing that really comes to my mind is this movie called Dune. I don't know if you've ever heard it or saw it before. It's called Dune. It's an old movie. It's from the, it's from the I want to say, 80s maybe. Okay. But look it up. It's a pretty. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. There's some sci-fi kind of like. Yeah, I think the name yeah. it comes familiar, but uh, yeah. It's called Dune. D U D U N E. Yeah, I think. Yeah, okay, I think I might have yeah. seen it, but I will look that up. <laughs> look it up. Or yeah, a movie I'm... called Legend. A movie called Legend with Tom Cruise in it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. okay. The, the movies is about. Um, it's about good and evil. It's about good and evil and how, you know, love, love conquers everything. Okay. You know, that's the, that's the gist of the movie the for the way. most okay. part. Yeah. Okay. I'll look that up. And then finally, though, they're about to put the movie, but they say, look, we'll play a song before the movie starts. What song would you request to listen to? Well, put number love. Because that was the theme of our career. When you look at just about all of the songs, it was about love and about and and I believe that love conquers all, you know. So number love. Okay. Yeah. No. That that that. As I said, that was a really different album um, from the other the, the other side, but it, it did portray a, a lot a lot of that. I mean, do you do you miss the dancing and the performing and the whole that stuff at all? Um, I did it. I did it. I did it well. And did it great. And I did it at a, at its highest stage. Like at like. You know, I've been on TV, live TV and everything, um, in Living Color, um, um, MTV, Grammy, Living Legends. Like, we've done a lot of stuff. Um, Soul Train, um, BT, like, we've done a lot. And I, I did it. You know, right now, I got a mean two-step for whoever want to dance with me. I got a mean <laughs> two-step. Okay. You know, yeah. Okay. I mean, I have to appreciate, you know, the, the time. I it Normally, yeah, that's, that's one of the things why I don't do it live is just because... It just allows the flexibility and 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 and, and journey. But it's been it's been fascinating hearing your journey and and your stuff. It's been you and know. I want to say thank you so much. Like so, you were the first like interview outside of the country that we've done. You were the first interview outside of the country that we've done in years. No one's heard the story. We've been overseas to England one time in our beginning of our career and we never went back over there and we stayed there for 30 days toured all through england and wales whatever and um th these moments that we spoke about are very precious to me and they mean a lot to me and because this time in this era means so much to you i was willing to share it with you so i appreciate you um it's going to probably open the door for a lot more uh interviews with from people with people overseas so i just want to thank you and i appreciate you for keeping this music alive and this 90 communities alive and having me on your show oh goodness you know i've it when you agreed to come on i was i was doing cartwheels and i think the only reason <laughs> the, the promotional video i put out today was to make sure you don't forget <laughs> I'm gonna try to put you on the spot. Like, see this? No. Everyone's like, "Wow, look, what's going on?" I said, like, "Just in yeah. case he backs out, he." he <laughs> that's the reason why I, I woke up this morning. I said, "How do I get him to remember the interview?" So I came up with a video quickly and put it out there. Nah, I, I thought about it uh, since the since we talked about it first. I chatted uh, chatted about it, um, and again, it's like one of those things that it's it's not hard for me to share, but um, it's hard for me to share you know well because it's so personal you know yeah. what i'm saying i'm a humble person uh, i'm not a private person but i'm a private person and these are precious moments to me that i'm sharing with you in times and stuff like that so i'm funny about that i'm you yeah. know even even as have passed you know people were wanting to do this and wanting to do that and some things i knew have wouldn't do you know so i didn't do it you know or people were opportunistic about doing these things. And, you know, to me, it's not about 
you know, capitalizing on a moment. It's about telling a real story and true story. That's why a lot of stories out there aren't real and true. Um, or, you know, they're not true. A lot of them aren't true it's because, you know, they just, the way they went about doing it and the people that they have speaking about it, some of them, you know. But keep it positive. And like I said, I appreciate you. And I yeah. appreciate you keep, keeping our music alive and having me on today.